they've signed up for a gruelling battle. The 27 competitors in Turkey's ultra-marathon begin their week-long 240-kilometre race, the equivalent of six marathons. Why do I do this marathon? Because I love things that are difficult. I love difficulty. A question of taste, one might say. But it's their mental strength, dedication and hard work that will get them through their ordeal. They are just trained men. They are disciplined men. And they know how to take care of themselves. And they train regularly and that's it. That's not Superman. They are not Superman. It's the second time the event has been held and organisers hope the race will continue to grow in popularity and attract even more runners next year. Not all of them are out for glory. Perhaps maybe if everybody fell off a cliff or fell down a mountain, I might stand a chance. But there's some really serious uh, runners here. And I, I'm, I'm recreational. I'm a recreational runner. So um, for me, the challenge uh, and, and the happiest thing for me is if I finish. That's what I'm looking for. The uniqueness of the race is also the course's natural beauty. It includes the Lycian Paths, a route used for more than 3,000 years, and today a hiking footpath that follows Turkey's Mediterranean coast. It's very distracting because you look down when you're running, you look at the path and you're like, okay, easy path. And then you get one glimpse to your right and you see this and it's almost shocking, you know? It's, it's absolutely breathtaking. And it's not just the view that takes the breath away. With almost one marathon per day and 8,500 metres of climbs and descents in the scorching 30 degree heat, runners need a little more than mere enthusiasm to reach the finish line. Yeah.